Good job. You're a good job. You're a good job. Hello and welcome to the Friday drink. It is time of the week again. Woo. You know the drill. I'm your host, Tim. And I'm another host, Ruth. So grab something cold from the fridge because it's been a long week and you need to put your feet up mm. and just relax. Could you grab something not cold? You could. If it's cold weather outside, grab yeah. something hot from or the fridge. Do you, I mean, you know in England how they drink warm beer. Yeah, room temperature ale or whatever. Yeah, that's I say gross. I say yes, like very timidly, like uh, I did it once. It wasn't fun. Yeah. All right. Let's not let's not relive that. Grab something room I temperature mean, unless from you the like fridge. It. Yeah. Room temperature from the fridge. Now I know we normally do Aussie craft beers, but today we're going for the big boys. Da, 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 da. <laughs> We've got the beer I think of when I think of uh, America it is a Budweiser lager Woohoo! we don't get this very much in Australia this and is the first time I've had it here so. exactly and mm. um yeah we're looking at this beer today yeah so Ruth have yes. you done any research on this I've done a little bit yeah so Budweiser is I would say probably would you say the most famous American beer I'd say if you are American it would probably be something that everyone knows about yeah I don't know I'm not American so it's uh it's brewed by, oh my goodness, gotta help me with the pronunciation, Tim. Anhauser Busch Incorporated. What is that name? Is it I don't know. Maybe Dutch? maybe Dutch. German? Maybe German. Yeah. If you know, if you're American, you know what Anhauser Busch is, leave us a comment. Where is it from? Budweiser is a lager. Yeah. I did research, I promise. I promise. <laughs> You've done the reading. You've done the homework. I did, and then I then we did other things and I've forgotten. Uh, but yeah, really famous one. And we're really excited to try it because we're Australian mm -hmm. and we've never had it before. So. Alright. What can you tell us? Facts. Facts? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I forgot it. Do, 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 do. I read it and it all just literally just went out of my brain. This is just like me in school. All right, Ruth, yeah. tell us a fun <laughs> fact. Uh, so Budweiser actually didn't stop for Prohibition. So they kept going. Ooh, kept, very nice. Kept going on making beer. So, Pulled a little uh, cheeky one on you, did yeah, you? Yeah, yes, I yeah, guess. So. You get away with that. Yeah. Medis um, it was medicinal, medicinal beer. Medicinal beer. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is German. I re-looked it up. All right. It's originally German. Fantastic. And Ooh, the key sorry. ingredient is rice. Rice. Yeah, so it's, it's, I wouldn't say it's a rice beer. I would never have thought of it like that, but apparently that's a key ingredient. Rice so. is very nice. All right. <laughs> What do you think of this label? The the font kind of looks like Lucinda handwriting, uh -huh. so it looks a little bit... You like it? It doesn't really stand out to me, though. You know what it kind of reminds me of? Yeah. It kind of reminds me of Coca-Cola. You've got the kind of the red, the white, and the nice handwriting yeah, of okay. the name. So it's kind of almost like if Coke was a beer, mm. it would be Budweiser? Maybe. Am I a fan of the label? Yeah. Not really. Like, <laughs> Not really a fan? I just don't think it's super creative, but it's also not a, um, mm. I mean, it's not a craft beer, is it? It's sort of a more, yeah, it's, you it's, know, stock standard. Yeah, um, it's, it's more classic. Yeah. From a more classic age. I like around here that they've written the different continents that Budweiser goes to. So yeah. that's If you zoom in on the sort of the logo. We'll put it up right now. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Then yeah. you can <laughs> see all the different countries. Should we go in for the pour? Let's do it. Meow. Stein's up. Um, let's have a look at this though. Yeah. That is pretty pale. It um, is very pale. So, I mean, maybe it's the rice. It could be the rice. Mm. Yeah, it's not that kind of that golden beery. It's more of a... No. It's more kind of almost... It looks like a vice beer. It, yeah, it looks mm. almost like a fluorescent uh, a fluorescent yellow. Should we cheers? Yeah, let's do it. Mm. <sighs> Salut. Salut. <sighs> Ruth, time. one word. Hmm. Springy. Make of that what you will. I'm going to say light as it. Light. <laughs> I was going to say light as a feather, but I remember That's one word. That's four. Light. If you were mm. to make your own beer, yep. what would it be called and what would be on the label? Okay, so I think 
beer has been traditionally, traditionally in the past, a man's drink, right? So I... W- I'm not going to get in trouble. No, 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 no nodding, no shaking no, the head. Traditionally in the past, like, you know, women can love and enjoy beer. But in terms of marketing, you see beer ads, they're all, you know, a lot they're of them... They're guys are, like me. Yeah, and, and they're marketed to men. I would make a really fancy, really chic, Ooh. really elegant beer. So it'd be called something really, like, wanky, like... Her um, brow. <laughs> her brow, her brow. <laughs> like or, or like high beer high brow or arista beer or something really stupidly posh i can almost see like the stenciled roses on the label Hang right on, now oh, I'm sorry oh, i'm putting words this into my pitch words into and yeah your mouth. so the la- it would actually come in a wine bottle Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So oh, a okay. wine bottle, so almost like a long neck, I guess. It's like an identity crisis. Yeah, but it's really fancy, and it's got a really fancy lady on the bottle um, with a martini glass full of beer. Sure, roses, why not, on the label, and uh, that would be the whole thing. And the beers would be, so like the Tom Collins one that we did that was like a sour beer with... Um, Check that out a couple yeah, of videos that was ago. based on a Tom Collins. They would be, I guess, more interesting mixes of different flavors and not necessarily just like the hey this is watermelon flavored beer but like a more subtle so it's just really elegant super posh and elegant super posh yeah. super feminine you would say yeah and the brewery would basically look like a really fancy hairdresser's salon and smell like an expensive perfume table are you going to get over the smell of yeast and hops with yeah. that that is a lot of smellies that you're going to put in the air what can i say it's high beer. It is high beer. Uh, give us a like. Give us a comment if you think that Ruth's idea is a good idea. Of course it's a good idea. I mean, of course. <laughs> I'm not going to argue with you. <laughs> you what's your idea? Come my, on. Hit my me. idea hit me. of a beer mm. is not something like that. Completely the opposite. I would just call it bread drink because essentially that's what beer is. It's a bread drink. You, you know what? I think people would buy that. I think they would find the it's humor. Honest. It's, it's honest. It's funny. It's uh. And I think yeah. it, the way I'd spell it is I'd spell it kind of faux German. So apologies to any Germans out there. <laughs> so I'd be like B R. E, there's like an umlau over the E, Ooh, D. What's an umlau? Is the two dots. <gasps> the two dots. Because I'm very clever. Mm. So B R E D D R I N C K. Why not? <laughs> and yeah, it would Chuck just. Chuck a silent N in there. Just and then fun. you'd have some people being like, oh, I want some of that brought a drunk. And it's like, <laughs> no, that's not how you pronounce it's it. Bread drink. It's pronounced <laughs> bread drink. And the, like Dr. Spichemin. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> All the fans of, what's that from? 30 Rock. 30 Rock. <laughs> ah, bread drink. And I think that the label would have would be like a tapestry, like the Bayou Ooh, tapestry, and it would tell a story pretty. through through pictures all over the label, all over the can. Mm-hmm. Essentially, I just want to get people looking at a can of bread drink and then ignore everyone else in the pub or bar. I like it. You like yeah. it? Yeah. You dig it. I put money behind that. We should much, go into business. You can make any. fancy lady beer. I can make <laughs> bread drink. Fancy lady beer. It's almost like, you know those like lady I, ads for like, you know, <sighs> I don't know, yogurt that makes you poo. Like, yeah. I don't know. It's, it sounds like funny when you put it like that. Fancy lady beer. Yeah, that's right. Because only she knows. Only she knows how it's made. That's so good. Cheers to that. <laughs> All right. Leave us a comment if we're just completely insane and we don't know what we're talking I mean, about. All right. Let's get back to the present. Okay. We need to actually talk about this beer. Budweiser, the flagship of American yeah. beers, I think. Ruth, <laughs> do you actually like this? Yeah, I think do it's when i realized that it's quite light rice is one of the main Ingrolios. ingredients yeah i i really dig it i i think what's the rice wine rice wine rice beer i like kung fu yeah by two I brothers love kung fu and this sort of reminds me of that so i'm really mm. digging it uh the sort of the light the rice was a ricey multi flavor good choice yeah. um i normally like really really creative bold mm. risk-taking flavors i think it's a little bit light for me okay um but on a hot day i think this would go down this is a good hot day drink isn't better it better than a cold glass of ice mm. water oh i'm saying in the water no oh, no 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 <laughs> oh the water. Sure, you're out no Bud no no in. i'm 70 percent water i need that <laughs> who would you recommend this for where did you get this from 
I went and got this from Dan Murphy's. Dad Murphy's. Dad Murphy's. He looks like a disappointed father. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, I would recommend this to any Australians who haven't tried it just because we don't get it in the pubs really. That's it's right. It's hard to find it a normal bottle shop. Explore uh, different cultures. Yeah. I, any Aussies, give it a go. Yeah. It's pretty good. And Amer any Americans, let us know if you think this is garbage. <laughs> um, who would you recommend it to? I would recommend it not only Australians, but more specifically Queenslanders. Because oh. this kind of tastes like a 4X gold to me. It's got that really light, almost yep. like you it's need a hot to, day. It's too for hot this. and sunny to function with it. Too hot it, and yeah. sunny to function, exactly. That makes sense. That makes That's sense. Queensland that in a nutshell. Yes. The most important part Very of the important. show. Tinnies. Tinnies. What are you going to give this? You know what? I'm digging it the more I'm drinking it as well. Mm -hmm. um, but I'm, I feel like I have to take points off for the label because I did diss it a lot. So. You did diss the label. Um, you don't like Coke label. Uh, 3.5. You know what, Ruth? Yeah. I was going to give it a 3.5. Oh. If 3 is dead average, I would say. Yeah, this is. It gives average. a little bit more than yeah. average. Yeah, absolutely. No, I, I love it. I think it's um, I, I love it. Uh, yeah, it's three point five. I am enjoying this. Yeah, yeah. three point five tinnies. That makes sense. Thank you for watching the Friday drink. Please whoa, whoa. let us know in the comments what you'd like us to review. Like, comment, subscribe, all of that fun stuff. And we'll see you next time. And happy Friday. Happy Friday. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs>